Yes guys, welcome back to another video. Welcome to the George Benson Football Channel. It's been a week, you guys have not heard from me since the preview for the game away at Everton, which to be quite honest, I'm kind of happy that I've decided that I was going to take a week off when Chelsea are playing absolutely awfully. Results, we don't really know where they're going to come from. And it just so happened to tie in with a pre-planned holiday as one of the Thai birds, not those kind, a Thai bird who flies through the sky has just decided to also interject with today's video. I'm in Thailand, I had a 10 day trip planned for a while. I'm now about to go and enter a festival. It's a brilliant time to be doing this because Chelsea have been so poor and it just felt like a perfect time also to not kind of add fuel to the fire, which is unfortunately right now a damaging fire. A fire where we're all kind of sitting in the same boat thinking, blimey, the season has disappeared. We have just had a horrible run of fixtures, but we're in the middle of December and it, we don't really see a positive sight anywhere close to us right now. We've got Sheffield United at home in the Premier League tomorrow. If there was a game that you would think Chelsea should win it, it would probably be against Sheffield United, but lo and behold, Sheffield United have had their own things to say about that. They fired their manager, they brought Chris Wilder in, they got a victory last week, and they're probably gonna come to Stamford Bridge looking at what other teams have done at our stadium and think, you know what, if we play our game here, there is no reason why we can't go away from Stamford Bridge with a result. Before we talk a little bit more about my team selection, I wanna say a big thank you to today's video sponsors. Yes guys, how would you guys like the chance to win 50 pounds worth of free bets? This year, Paramatch UK have launched their totally free to play game, Hattrick Hunt, where all you need to do is correctly predict three Premier League scores to win yourself 50 pounds worth of free bets. Every score you get right is worth something. This week, I'm going Chelsea two, Sheffield United one, Brentford one, Aston Villa two, and Liverpool four, Man United 2. I know that last one's a little bit bold. Maybe the first one too. Let me know what you think of my predictions. And of course, if you guys want to get involved, the link is down below. Of course, terms and conditions apply. You must be 18 plus. Big thank you to Paramount UK for sponsoring this video. And let's get back into previewing Chelsea versus Sheffield United. And we're back. Thank you once again to Paramount UK. I'm nervous about this one. The reason I'm nervous is because we keep on redefining, as Chelsea fans right now, what we think rock bottom looks like. When I think about rock bottom, I think about where we're at right now. After the defeat before the Everton game, we had everything crushed from us. That Man United performance was so abject. We go to Everton and in the build up to that Everton game, you could kind of think and see the way that Everton were going to approach things, the way that Everton would have to play in order to beat Chelsea. And the facts are, Everton simply had to turn up and beat Chelsea at the weekend. What Everton were good at was they could happily sit back, allow Chelsea to have possession with the knowledge that right now there is no confidence going forward, no confidence in front of goal. And then as long as they can be clinical when they do manage to get the ball into the final third, Everton were gonna find ways to break us down. And lo and behold, that second half, they crushed us. As soon as the first goal went in, with all of the questionable mentality issues that we have at our football club right now, with the playing personnel, management, ownership, fans, on a whole, Chelsea are in a really dark place right now. And it is very, very difficult even for me to get excited about what looks as though it should be a routine home victory against one of the sides in the bottom four in the Premier League. Sheffield United is not gonna be easy. They defend relatively well. Yes, they've been broken down. They've conceded a lot of goals on numerous occasions this season. Quite frankly, they've got a championship squad and Chelsea have a £1 billion first team, let alone flipping squads. So it's going to be flipping difficult here to see anything other than a Chelsea victory. I'm concerned, but at the same time, the run of fixtures that we have now is the perfect opportunity even if performances aren't great, all we've got to focus on right now is three points, three points, three points, just like the name of my bloody podcast. So with that being said, I'm going to pick my Chelsea team. I'm making this video before the press conference. As I said, I'm on a little holiday right now, so I can't do everything at the timings that I would like to. But we start, of course, in goal. The back four that I've gone with here is the Sassy at right back, Thiago Silva, Badia Yashil, and Levi Colwell back in at left back. It's got to a point where Cucurella 
will show me with performances that I don't think he's a Chelsea left back. Then he'll put in a couple of good shifts. I'll start to think, yeah, okay, well, maybe now we're starting to get a little glimpse, a little smell, a little taste of how good he could have been and was at Brighton and what we thought he would have been at Chelsea. And then all of a sudden, performances capitulate again. So for that reason, I'm playing another two players completely out of position at both right back and left back. At the moment, when it comes to injuries, when it comes to recoveries, Reese James is going to be out for a significant period of time. I've said this so many times, but at the same time, I also want to caveat the fact that I don't know biologically exactly why going into surgery for Reese for his hamstring injuries would be the right thing. On the surface, when things like this keep on repeating, I would say for the longevity of his career, it would make sense to go into surgery. But I'm also not a surgeon. I am not a hamstring specialist, so I don't know. Just in my head, I feel as though maybe the more this keeps happening, the more it just may be an inevitability that Reese James has to go and get some surgery on that hamstring. With Malo Gusto, we're unsure still what time he's gonna be ready to return. So I think at the moment, Chelsea do need to pick players that are fit. And even if the Sassy's not a right back, Colwell isn't a left back. For some reasons that we've just discussed here, Cucurella's performance is not good enough. Reese is gonna be out for a while. Gusto, we're unsure. This Sassy has to play at right back. It's a shame. When we looked at the depth at the start of this season, whether that was across the back line, the midfield, the attack, we thought, we had enough players to be able to fill voids, fill holes when there were evident holes available and visible in the Chelsea team because of the injury crisis that we have been embarking on now for a couple of years. But that's what I'm going with. And again, you can tell I'm not confident about this whatsoever, but I think that's the best we can do in this current situation. Moving in to a midfield three that were basically all shot in the game against Everton, Enzo, Caicedo, Gallagher. All three of these players are absolutely top footballers. They just need to find a bit of rhythm, a bit of form, something to grip hold of in a time where right now, Chelsea fans are losing patience with the ownership. We're losing patience with Pochettino. We've lost patience with the players. I have come to the conclusion that so many of these players we have overspent on, they're not good enough for the level that they need to be at in the Premier League. And I know this comment is kind of irrelevant, but when you've got someone like Chiellini, an experienced Italian player, talking about Scamacca, the player that played for West Ham, even he's coming out and saying in the media that West Ham are as good as the best teams in Italy. That's kind of how you know what you're competing against when the players can say that themselves. Totally irrelevant in some sense, but it shows where you need to be in terms of proven quality Premier League footballers to be able to get the best out of a team of players. Chelsea currently have players who are all out of form, all kind of panicking in their own way about the situation that they're personally in, the situation that the football club is in. And I think at this point, Chelsea do need something fresh in there. We've said, Pochettino has said, we need new players. It comes as a bit of a joke to a lot of rival football fans who think, but how can you need all these new players when you spend all that money? Unfortunately, that's exactly what we need. We need Lavia back. We need Nkunku back. I just don't think they're going to start starting games out of nowhere. I don't think Poch will risk that just with all of the injuries that keep on coming. So I think Lavia may feature, Nkunku may feature, but I don't believe it's going to be from the start. We move into my front three, Cole Palmer on the right, Armando Broya through the middle, and Raheem Sterling on the left. I think if we can get Sterling in form, if he can burn through teams like he did in that away game against Burnley, there's enough individual quality there to get past Sheffield United. At least you bloody hope so. Cole Palmer as well, he's had a couple of dodgy games now where he's not really been involved. Little moments of beautiful brilliance on the ball, but that isn't gonna cut it. We need everybody to step up. I think Broya, you can't just give him one chance and if he doesn't bag, you take him out the team again. I don't think that says anything about opportunities in a non-functioning Chelsea side. So give him Stamford Bridge. Give him a team that have conceded a load of goals. And I've got a feeling Armando Broya bags one today for us. I'm going to predict that Chelsea do win this game 2-1. I think it's going to be nervous. I don't think it's going to be a performance that gets us all thinking, maybe we're turning a corner here. I'm stopping all of that turning a corner nonsense. I was going to say something even worse there. Until I see a string of performances in a row. 
So please, let today or tomorrow be the start of Chelsea going on a bit of a run. We've had tough fixtures, we knew it was coming, and now there's no excuses. These are all teams now in the next six that Chelsea should beat. And it has to start here against the team in the relegation zone at our home. If you don't win that, then at this point, everyone's got to hold their hands up and say, where do we go from here? I'm out of ideas. I've got no ideas. Please, January, come now and let's break the bank again. Unfortunately, that is exactly where we are at. Thank you guys for watching this video. Hit the like button if you do enjoy it. I'll try and get six things we learn out at some point over the weekend. As I said, I'm at a festival. There's plenty of other really good Chelsea YouTubers that you can watch. And you guys know who they are. So check them out as well if you need your dose of Chelsea content. And I will be back next Monday, full hog, up until Christmas, back in the office. Come on, you blues.